Welcome back to the Bike Man for You. How's everybody doing today? Today's video is broadcast and coming to you and sponsored by Gould Turner Group, architects, designers, and interiors out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, check them out at GouldTurnerGroup.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They build these great big hospitals and stuff. Really cool. Um, they just recently finished a Guthrie Corning Hospital in Corning, New York. Uh, check it out. Pretty cool. So we have to fix a lot of different bicycles and things. And people just automatically think that we are just mechanically, at, our mechanical aptitude can fix anything. And you know what? They're right. We can. We can fix anything. We're damn close to it. And we've been getting uh, these scooter slash things. These electric, you know, razor little mini bike thingies like this. <laughs> it doesn't work, bike man. We used it twice and it doesn't go anymore. Well, what's the matter? It doesn't go. I says, all right. So they bring in the charger and everything. The first step when you're fixing one of these things is you gotta diagnose what the heck is going on. So you wanna use, sometimes it could be the battery where you might have to replace the battery. This one isn't, but um, the first step I do is that I plug it in and I let her charge. And I let it charge overnight, uh, not overnight, but uh, you know six hours. I'll plug it in in the morning. I don't like to necessarily leave this thing plugged in overnight. I'm a little scared of uh, you know leaving it in here in the barn and I go home and you know, you never know. Uh, the charger, the battery might overheat, might, who knows, okay? So, you want to make sure that you don't uh, burn the house down. Uh, so, I want to be monitoring it at all times. We had a, a battery on one of those plug-in things that really got so hot one time on one of those, you know, power tools that almost, almost burnt the place. Not didn't almost burn it down, but it, boy, it got so hot that it almost burned me. So, I plugged it in. I charged this thing over six hours or so. And then I put on the button, and I got it. I got a nice light going on here, and here's my throttle here, and I hit my throttle, and hmm, sounds like the motor's running, but it ain't going. All right, so that's cool. Let's check it out again. You guys gotta plan your work and work your plan. All right. I think we can top off, here's the mechanism, I think the chain runs around there, I can see that this is the motor, I can see that this is the rear wheel, we got to get this sucker off right here. Come on over to the workbench, let's go, ch oh man, we got some loose handlebars too. This thing was put together pretty crappily, crappily. Put together a, where it was bought. Uh, it's pretty crappily. <laughs> is that a word? Crappily? Crappily? Or is that a city? Is that a city in like France or something, crappily? Oh my goodness, this thing is a, not the lightest thing in the world. It's a heavy crappily. Uh, oh. All right. I want to come over on this side over here. Let's pop off that duck. Let's pop off that cover and see what we got. Looks to me like a couple of screws. I got one, two, three, four, and this one over here, five. Oh, it's tight. Oh my goodness, that thing is wicked tight. I don't think I can get that one off. We're gonna have to get some bigger, bigger guns on that one in a minute. Where's the, where's the uh, plumber's pipe? Man, I can't believe. Let me try. You think you <laughs> can get it? Don't bugger it up any worse than it already is buggered. It okay. looks like, it looks like the matter. Whoever was at the screwdriver on this, because all of them are a little bit. Uh, whoever was hitting them down. Let me get these other ones off, son of a, and then you can give it a shot. No, I don't want that one. That one's going to hinge, actually. Oh, okay. You see, it's gonna, this yeah, whole thing yeah, is going to yeah. hinge right off of there. But we got to get into here. Oh, there's our chain. There's our chain. chain. It is. Look at how little and itty-bitty that chain is. A cute little, cute little devil, isn't it? All right, you want to try to get that yeah. screw off of there? We're switching positions here. I've never been behind the camera. Let me see. What's it look like in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna give it to it. Oh yeah, I think I heard it. I heard it. Nice. You got Sarah, it, didn't you? I got it, bike man. You got it. Let me see what you look like. How you oh you shaving lately or what? Huh? Alright, so you got her off. Alright, back to positions. Thanks, son of a 
I knew I had some youth around here for some, one reason or another. All right, so let's pop off this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Just what I suspected. The chain is not on the little drive sprocket. Can you see that, or do you want me to tilt this thing up a little bit? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, don't move. Oh, oh. Sorry. Light there? Get mm -hmm. out of the shadow? I like that. Is that cool? You yeah. can see that? Now, we got a little idler pulley here that keeps the tension on the chain. So I'm going to push this down. I'm going to hold this down. You know what? I'm going to get a tie wrap just to keep that out, keep that out of the way. Be right back. Whoa. Don't let that thing fall, will you? I won't. These little tie wraps, they work great. They keep things out of the way and they, we, we use them for all different kinds of stuff, you know? Push this down a little here. Anyway, it's gonna keep that out of the way. Now, I can put that baby right onto the, look at how little, did you see how little that sprocket is? Oh yeah, we're on there now. We put that onto there like that, we put that onto there like that. We're golden, we're golden. I wonder how that thing came off. We got a little wasp going on there. I hate them. <laughs> I never saw somebody so scared of wasps. I hate them. And bees. I hate them. All right. Don't lose my little nuts here. I don't want to lose my nuts. That is so important. We lose those. Actually, they're bolts. They're not nuts. Screws. All right, let me put this to the side. I got something else I want to show you on this bike. On this bike, yeah. On this scoot scoot. Um, it's radical. <laughs> I think we're golden. Let me just see what happens now. Oh, yeah. That thing gets going pretty rapidly on there. It's got some, you know, high torque. Let me tell you what. Um, something I want to show you is the chain line on this thing. And this could be partly the reason why it came off. Maybe it wasn't on properly, but you want to back up a jack. Yeah, yeah. I know chain right, line. Yeah, chain look line. right down the pipe. She's a little bit fakocked, as you can see. Uh, it's And there's not a lot I can do in order to adjust it. Uh, in fact, there's nothing I can do to adjust it without going into great big monstrous details uh, of ovaling out. You looking at me here? Ovaling out the mount mounts where the motor mounts, the motor mounts to the frame here. So that way we could twist the motor just a little bit. The dropouts on the rear wheel, I can't adjust that one way or the other because they're horizontal dropouts. They just come up. And, you know, the thing is, it, it, it slips in the weld. It's not, you know... They manufacture these things super inexpensively, I think, and then ship them over here. And the quality is, eh, it's okay. But boy, are they fun to ride. Marco, BMX boy, can attest to that. He had a big smile on his face. If you wanted to see the smile on his face, go over, head over to our Instagram. Uh, there's a picture of Mar Maquito, BMX boy, on one of these babies. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, kind of cool. I wish I was a little kid. There's so many toys out there now for little kids. Uh, not like when I was a kid. Well, back then, bike man, one of these would be gas, not yeah. electric. Well, yeah, way back when we did have some gasoline thing items that were, yeah, you're right. So there you have it on the scooter. We're gonna button her back up with that uh, chain guard, put that baby back on. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but we got this mm, bad boy fixed, didn't we? Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Razor, this was a, uh, for, in, for, for, for uh, tagging purposes. It was a ZR350 Razor Raising MX350. Uh, little mini electric scooter bike. I had fun, I hope you did too. If you'd like to sponsor one of our videos, please don't hesitate. Give us a call at 631-902-0836. We're expecting, sp we're, accepting sponsorships for our live show as well as all of our weekly videos so come on over give me a shout we'll talk about some some different options for you i hope you had fun today and don't forget never fear the bike man for you is here
Never fear.